On this channel, we had once covered an open source AI agent framework that was capable of building AI agents with memory, knowledge, tools, and reasoning, which greatly elevated how you can use AI agents as you can practically deploy these autonomous AI assistants to do anything. Well, this was a framework called FiData, which we haven't really covered in a long time. And in that long passage of time, FiData got a huge new upgrade to its framework, where you can now create AI agents locally tailored to your needs. With a local memory, storage, knowledge, and tools, you can run a team of AI agents. And the best part is, there's this new first ever agent UI, which is a UI that lets you engineer AI agents. Just take a look at this demo video, which is showcasing the first ever ChatGPT like playground for AI agents, which is the FiData UI. This is an innovative, 100% open source platform that lets you interact with AI agents that are powered by Claude, as well as GPT 4 Omni, Local Llama 3.2, and many other LMs, all for free. You can experience this flexible, a uh, platform that allows you to create and deploy AI agents tailored to your needs. With this new update, you can utilize this platform to design, build, ship, and monitor agentic AI systems. Now, this platform is going to make sure that you can create domain-specific AI agents that are equipped with memory, knowledge, and tools, and it's going to enable tailored solutions for various applications, whether that's for personal projects or enterprise solutions. This platform is going to simplify the entire process of developing these smart AI agents. And the great part is it's 100% free and open source. If you're interested in downloading FiData onto your local computer, I actually have a video which showcases this and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But to briefly go over it, it's fairly simple. You need to install the FiData packages once you have cloned this repository and you can start running the various agents that you can create with the code snippets over here but say if you want to work with this new agent ui you can easily do so by creating a playground file which is a python file for the playground and you can authenticate it with FiData and then install the necessary dependencies and you can then run the FiData uh, playground by simply running the python command now they also showcase that you can demo agents monitor and debug with the agent ui so if you're interested in this follow through the documentation so now I'm going to quickly showcase the playground of the agent UI that FiData has now basically developed. So what we're going to be doing is selecting one of the agent demos, such as the finance agent. And from here, we're going to be asking it, which tools do you have access to? So it's going to list out the following tools that it has access to. And what I'm going to do now is ask it a question about the Tesla stock. So I asked it, Tell me more about the Tesla stock and give me a historical price, which is one of its tool sets. And you can see that it's giving me analysis of the current stock price, the market cap, as well as the financial highlights. And you can see that it's providing me all the historical data for the stock price. In essence, FiData's new agent UI is a great new platform designed for building, shipping, and monitoring your AI agents. It's a way for you to interact with your agents like in a new possible way that we've never seen before. Now, what I want you guys to do is take a look at this next section of the video from the developer of FiData, who is Ashpreet. And I want you to take a listen to what he has to say about this new agent UI. Hey everyone, it's Ashpreet and I'm very excited to showcase the new agent UI, which we're gonna to use to chat with our agents running completely locally. So what we'll do today is we're gonna run a couple of agents that have completely local memory and knowledge, meaning everything is stored on our machines and they also run tools locally. So this could be a completely private solution for running AI agents. This is what it looks like. Uh, go to the FiData app playground to test it out. And we have a couple of demo agents which you can test with, but these demo agents are running on our servers. So these are not the local agents. We're gonna run them next. And you can try out a couple of demo agents before getting into it. Uh, we can ask, uh, Tell me about the US elections and we'll see our agents kind of performing the tool calls, maintaining the memory um, and uh, everything will be stored locally as we're gonna go through with this. So the code for this application for our local agents is in the FiData repo. So fork and clone this repository and go to cookbooks, playgrounds, where you'll find step-by-step -step instructions for running your own agent server. 
that is going to interact with the agent UI. Now I'm going to reiterate that no information is sent to PyData. The only thing which we're going to send from local to our servers is that we're running the uh, server at this endpoint. That's it. PyData only knows about the endpoint. The rest, everything else will be fully local. So let's get into it. Uh, once you've cloned the repo, open it up in the code editor of your choice and open up the cookbooks, playground, readme file where we have all the information for running our agent UI. We're going to first get started with creating our virtual environment as always. Uh, I've opened it up on my terminal. I've created my virtual environment. Then we're going to export our API keys. The agents I'm going to be building today are uh, going to be using OpenAI and Xa, but we can easily use Olama with this. We can use any other tools. Uh, this is these are just the agents which I prefer to use. We're going to install the required libraries. Uh, we're going to do some DuckDuckGo search. We're going to do some uh, YouTube parsing, a little bit of rag. The best part is everything's local, which I personally want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to authenticate with the FiData application. What this does is it just tells the Fi data app that I'm going to be running my uh, agents at this particular endpoint. So on the terminal, I'm going to authenticate the application. Uh, you sign in. I'm already signed in, so it opens it up for me. And that's pretty much it. Then we're going to run our agent server, which is this file, and we're going to talk about it in a minute. And let me run this file and see what happens. But before that, what I'll do is I'll export file debug as true because I want to see the logs happening behind the scenes. You can even set debug mode true on your agents, but I'm just going to set it as an environment variable right now. And then I'm going to kick off the demo uh, playground. It's going to tell me that uh, the playground is serving at this endpoint. And uh, that's it. So I can connect to the local host 7777 where my agents are running. I'm going to serve these agents and all of this is uh, running locally, by the way, this information is a fully local solution. So if I was to remove this information, remove this database local, then even these sessions won't exist. All right. So let's test out the web agent uh, and also open up this demo file. In this demo.py file, we have a web search agent. We have a finance agent. Uh, we have an image generation agent, a research agent a YouTube agent that can uh, transcribe YouTube uh, videos and we serve them with the playground and we can also build them into a team. Uh, you can use any and every file data feature here. And all we want is we just want to chat with these agents. So let me first test out the web search one. I'll say uh, write a report on the US elections. Now the best part is that with these agents, we've already told them uh, we've given them the current date. We've given them a couple of tools, how to give their results. And it's going to give me a nice little report with everything running locally. None of this information is being sent anywhere. Uh, from what I know, this is, I think, one of the first agent UIs. I've really wanted this. So the FireData team built this uh, UI out and it looks absolutely beautiful. Let's test out the uh, YouTube agent. Uh, this is one I personally like to use. Uh, you know, take some podcasts, take some videos, and then ask. Uh, the agent to read them and summarize them using captions and um, and I use this uh, agent day to day quite a bit and um, and as you can see it'll summarize this YouTube video for me. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll later on um, add some audio features in there where you know the summary it can just read it out so you know a 30 50 minute YouTube video can just be like a 10 second snippet which I can kind of just gloss over the important points to figure out if I want to. Uh, dive deep into it. Okay, so that's the second agent. Um, third agent, let's do the research one. And I'll say, write a report on simulation theory. And then while this is generating the report with EXA, uh, we'll see what's happening behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, it's uh, very simple. We are serving these agents on port 7777, which is connected to our uh, playground and we can connect to the endpoint. You can also connect to a demo agent endpoint where we're testing and you can like view a couple of demo agents over there. Uh, so we have a couple of demo agents which we are kind of like testing out with. Uh, we'll put more out. If you have more requests, do let us know. Um, and uh, each of these agents is defined exactly how you would build a regular file data agent. Uh, we give it a description, tools. Uh, so the beauty about a fully local solution is that you could add shell tools, meaning you could have the agent control your 
operating system and build out your LLM OS through this. Uh, you could have it access private knowledge, which you don't want sharing. You, do, you don't want it to be sent out. You could have this agent access completely local data. All the memory and sessions, like every single session you're going to have, the storage is completely local. It's stored in this file. I'm going to delete this file in a second, and you'll see all the sessions are going to go. So uh, this is my running local. So these are the two sessions, and I'm going to go and I'm going to be like, okay, this agent's DB file, let's delete it. I don't know. Maybe the uh, maybe it's going to drop because it's uh, it can't find them. And what we'll do is uh, we will. It's like okay, the database is deleted. I'm going to run this again. It's going to create the database again, and then let's see. And the history is gone. That information is not there anymore. So all those sessions have it was completely local. So everything is gone. And now we can, uh, you know, start those sessions again, right? Uh, let's test out the final agent, uh, finance agent, and then I'll say goodbye. Compare NVIDIA to Tesla, and uh, and we'll see this agent working. Uh, another thing is you could set log sessions are true, which will log the sessions, and you can then see them on the sessions tab. But if you're looking for a fully private solution, we keep this off by default. We have no. Um, intention of tracking anyone's session so we keep this off by default uh, if you want to track it that they're, they're still very private with you so you can do that as well uh, so that's it folks this is the agent ui which i have been very excited about it looks beautiful it works brilliantly and we have a lot of things which we are planning on building with them i'm going to talk a little about the architecture again the ai engineer builds the agents locally runs the server locally and it only tells the Fire Data application that I'm serving my agents at this port. And then the Fire Data application connects to the local agents, uh, and then you can chat with them uh, using a regular chat application. Uh, we have a lot of things in, uh, in store for this Playground UI. Uh, so if you have any feedback, please, please do let us know. If it breaks, please do also let us know. Hope you have a great day. Bye. And that's practically it for today's video on Fire Data. This is a powerful open source platform to build, interact with, and monitor your AI agents through this new user-friendly interface. Huge props to the team behind Fidata. I'll keep posting videos on whatever advancements they make, so definitely give me a follow on Twitter as well as on YouTube. Follow me on the Patreon so that you can easily access different subscriptions to AI tools completely for free, as well as joining our private Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.